Good morning, Greyhounds. I'm Ashley. And I'm Natalie, and this is JCSS Today. We hope you are having a wonderful Thursday. We have a lot of announcements this week. If you would like to order Valentine's Day flowers, there are flyers all around the school. This ends February 14th, one for $2.50 and a bouquet for $15. The colors are pink and red. Now let's get started off with the weather. Good morning or afternoon, Greyhounds. I'm Andrea. Thanks for tuning in with me this week. This Thursday, we have mostly sunny skies with the high of 61 and low of 45. Friday, we have cloudy skies with the high of 64 and low of 55. This Saturday, we have showers with the high of 67 and low of 52. Thanks for tuning in with me, and I'll just kick it back to the desk. Thank you, Andrea. It is that time. If you would like a yearbook, go to the Jones County website and scan the QR code to get a yearbook. Now let's go to sports. Hi, my name is Lamar Lucas, and this is your sports news for today. Trent interviewed Coach Hamlin to ask about tennis. Let's go check it out. Hey, I'm Trent, back here on Coach's Couch. Today I'm here with... I'm Olivia Hamlin. I am the tennis assistant coach. Today I'm here, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions about tennis. In your opinion, what attributes do you look for in a player that separates um, Coach Hanner and I look for a, a good attitude, a good positive attitude, and a great work ethic. Um, that really changes the dynamic of the team because it is a team sport. Looking back at the previous year, what's the main thing you wanted to do this year to help the team have a better outcome? So though our team is young, we are very good at our ground strokes, but we want to focus on where we hit our ground strokes. Yes, we can hit it right back to the other team, but we want to place the ball to where they can't get to it. All right, thank you, Coach Hamlin, for that interview. Thank you, Trent. On Monday, basketball went to Union Grove. They went into overtime and pulled out the win with a score of 66 to 61. Yesterday, the girls played at Locust Grove and came out with a, with a score of 72 to 7. Boys will play again tomorrow at Dutchtown. Game time is at 8.30 p.m. As well as the girls at home against Warner Robins. Game time is at 4 p.m. Boys and girls soccer traveled to Monticello yesterday. Boys lost 2 to 1 and girls lost 4 to 1. Their next game is tomorrow against Central at home. Game time is at 5.30 p.m. Tennis went to GMC yesterday as well. Boys and girls lost but showed great progress. Baseball kicks off their season tomorrow with a scrimmage at West Lawrence. Game time is at 5.30 p.m. That's all for today's sports news. Now let's kick it back to the front desk. Thanks, y'all. Students, also remember that deliveries on Valentine's Day will not be accepted. Let's go see what Brandon and them have to say about Valentine's Day. What are your plans for Valentine's Day? Um, I don't really have any plans for Valentine's Day. I'm probably not going to be doing anything. Who's going to be your Valentine's Day? The cameraman, the person behind the camera right now. My plans? I plan to go to the restaurant with her. Then I plan to buy her some gifts. Then I plan to go shopping with her. And that's all how much I can think of for right now. And who's the Valentine's Day? I'm still talking to them, but it's someone. What are your plans for Valentine's Day? I'm just going to play video games, honestly. Who do you plan on being your Valentine's Day? Joseph Ford, definitely. Thank you. Now let's go see what Coop and Cam have for us this week. Hey everybody, my name is Cooper Smith. And I'm Cameron Gogan. And welcome back to Food Review. Or today, Drink Review, because we're still broke boys. No yeah. cash in our wallet. Today we're reviewing Powerade, provided by Mr. Adam Gilhouse. Shout out to him for the uh, free raid. But anyways, let's go ahead and crack open into our power. Cheers. I'm reviewing orange. He's reviewing, reviewing lemon lime. Lemon lime. So, yep, we're ready. Honestly, I'm going to have to give it like a 4 out of 10. It just tastes like orange. Not much about it. I mean, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm more of an apple juice guy myself. Um, I'm going to have to give this one probably also a 4, if not a 3. Um, it's very tangy, and uh, I'm, I'm just not really a Definition of mid right here. Anyways, uh, thank y'all for joining in. Uh, hopefully next week we'll have actual actual food for y'all. Hopefully, all. hopefully, I'm praying. Thank you guys. Have a good rest of y'all's day. Toodles. Toodles. Thank you, students. Make sure you're getting a class on time. Some of the members have put together a PSA on getting the class on time.
This is footage of a late student. Remember students, get to class on time because I'm sure all of us don't want to have to take our finals. And if you get too many tardies, then you know, you'll have to take your finals. As well as too many tardies will mean that you'll get ISS and or OSS, which it does go on to your record for the school. If you get uh, too many OSSs, not OSS, OSS or ISS, then you will have to go to alternative school, which it can all be caused because you didn't decide to get on, get to class on time. Why are you late? I was in the restroom. That's not an excuse. You have to be here on time. Whatever. With that, <laughs> some of the students want to talk to Miss Skinner about biology. Let's go check that out. Felicia Skinner, F E L I C I A S K I N N E R. Um, well, this semester in biology, we are spending a good bit of time working on genetics, and genetics is really broad, so they can apply this a lot in their life, looking at disorders and diseases and genetic traits that can be passed on uh, through generations. In college anatomy, we're talking about the entire body system. So a lot of those kids are going into the healthcare field, so this will kind of set them up to be very successful in their first years of college with that. Okay, same question, what would you hope for your students to achieve while you're at them? Okay, so regardless of what class I teach, I really want my students to grow. Like when they start at the beginning of the year, they know a little bit, but then we want to work towards getting to know a lot more. And it's not just about the content, like we want to talk about what are some skills and things that we can do inside the school but then also transfer outside so that we can uh, perform well in civic duties and jobs and just be an overall good um, citizen contributing to society. Okay, last question. What would you hope for your students to keep with them so you learn all these things throughout their life? Okay. So one thing I want them to know is to really try to be positive about things, like really try to look at the bright side, set some goals, and then make a plan to achieve them. And I want them to all to know that they always have somebody who really cares about them, regardless if it's a teacher or a custodian, a principal. I just want everyone to know that there are people out there that support them and love them, and then they should do that same thing when they go out into society. Find somebody to help mentor, and that will help them as well. That's all we have for you today. Go Hounds.